Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm back with another colouring video today and I'm going to be using this plus one set from Lawn Fawn to make a bun in the oven card. I'm going to start by stamping out my sentiment though. Uh, what is it? Jet Black from Ranger. It's an archival ink. And finally I'll stamp my image. I'm going to put it a little bit high because I will draw a shadow to ground it. Now I thought this would make a really sweet shaker card. So I'll cut out this centre. And I'm using my blade to get things started and then I've got a pair of really fine tip scissors and I can work my way around so next I need to stamp out my oven again and I'm going to do this on the front of my top fold card I'll simply just Draw a pencil mark where that window is and then I can stamp over the top. So I'm adding some Memento Lux to my block. This is Angel Pink and I have a blender pen and I'll simply just pick up the colour and pop it across to my image. So the reason I'm using my blender pen to do this is I find it really hard to get that baby pink colour with any of the Copic markers or pencils. It tends to always have sort of a kind of a purpley sort of tinge so I thought this would be a really nice way to add baby pink. So it really is as simple as just picking up the colour with the blender pen and adding it to your image. So I've masked off the back of the card and my focal point image on the front of the card as well. And I've got some of the Angel Pink Memento Lux Ink again. And I'm stamping out a striped background. Using the crossing line set from the alleyway stamps. And this is where I like to use the bigger Fiskars stamp press because it's much easier to get the ink on with a large ink pad around the foam feet. And I'll just remove my masks. And to create my well I've got some acetate. I'll put this on the back of my panel. Use some double sided tape. I've cut some fun foam, so I'll use more double sided tape. I just want to make sure that there's nowhere that the beads can sneak out of. So I've doubled up my well because I want to use these glass beads in there and they do sit fairly high. And then I've got my double sided tape again. I'm going to add lots of this and another piece of acetate on the back of this. I'll check my beads before I attach this panel to my card. That should be good. And 
And for a final touch, I'm going to make a little bow to go on top of the oven. And hold that in place. I've got some matte medium. So using a blender pen with your pigment inks is a really easy way to colour and it's also a great way of matching your image colouring to your actual stamping. So thanks for joining me today. I'll be back again real soon with another card. So till then, happy paper crafting. Bye. You just got to give it a shake.